So this is Jared Walton with PC Gamer and I just wanted to like in case anyone's wondering about the problems I have with Borderlands 3 and DirectX 12 mode let me show you to you. This is on an AMD RX 5700 XT. It's running on a 4K G-Sync monitor. This is an Acer XB280HK, so a bit older model. Um, I've even switched it to 1080p here just to prove that it's it's on all 4K displays as far as I can tell. You can't change your desktop resolution to get around it, but all right, this is gonna be painful. And go. 40 seconds into the video, we have clicked the launch button. So. This is on an i7-8700K overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz. So this is a pretty speedy processor. It's not like we're waiting for the CPU. All right, 2K logo. Now in DirectX 11 mode, you'll see this pop up and then pretty much right after you won't even see this AMD Ra Ryzen Radeon logo appear it will just pop immediately to the legal disclaimer screen and you're done but Claptrap here shows up on systems that are a bit slow to, slower to load so like when I was doing DirectX 11 testing with an i3-8100, that's a four core processor, four thread processor, running at 3.6 gigahertz, I believe. Um, anyway, you would see clap, crap, clap trap, crap trap uh, dance across the screen maybe once or twice. Um, it'd probably be even longer in DirectX 12 mode, I don't know. But now this is, this is the third time I have launched the game with the RX 5700 XT installed. The first time you launch it, it tends to take even longer because I am I guess it's probably compiling the shaders for DX12 maybe. I noticed on like the RTX 2080 Ti, the first launch took about three, three and a half minutes from click to main menu. The second launch only took about two minutes. So, uh, that was a little better, but yeah. We are now at two minutes since clicking launch, and we've had over a minute of claptrap dancing. And it's not even like randomized dancing, it's just a video clip that repeatedly plays as far as I can tell. Still going. Now, I, I wanna note here, this is not something specific to like Unreal Engine 4 in DirectX 12 mode, which is what Borderlands 3 is running, because Gears of War 5 actually launched pretty much at the same time. Uh, it was kind of available a week before, and it only runs in DirectX 12 mode, and it doesn't have a huge interminable loading screen. It also doesn't have Claptrap, which I know some people think he's funny, but I gotta say, um, Claptrap's annoying. He was, he was sort of kind of tolerable in the first. There you go. Three minutes. And you'll notice, hey wait, why is Borderlands 3 in the top left corner of my screen? That's because of a driver bug with AMD's 19.9.2 drivers. Um, maybe it's just with this screen. Uh, actually, I've got two other 4K displays, so I can verify that really fast. But I think it's pretty much with all higher resolution displays that if you run at lower than native resolution, you get this problem. So that kind of sucks. So you can see we are in full screen. There, I'll get closer. Full screen, Acer display, 69, 1080p. We're gonna go over to the advanced settings. We're in DirectX 12 mode, very low preset, and I gotta run the benchmark a couple times. I'm not gonna record that whole process, but I'm just verifying performance is actually better with DirectX 12 on AMD GPUs. Uh, it definitely was on the Radeon 7, but I haven't tested a bunch of other cards, and frankly, I don't have the patience to sit there and wait for Claptrap that many times. But uh, here, we'll... 
will let you have a better view of the benchmark. I know, this is a crappy video. It's filmed with my iPhone 8. I think it's an iPhone 8. Um, but the benefit is you can capture the whole experience, whereas if I were just capturing the content of the display using shadow play or some other video output card or whatever um, you don't necessarily get to experience this quarter size view i actually had someone tell me on an article i wrote um, about is running at 1080p on a 4k monitor worse than running at 1080p on a 1080p monitor and they're like we'll just turn off screen scaling i'm like yeah um you might get that view in the center of the screen instead of in the top left corner that's what you should get if you turn on one-to-one -one scaling or no scaling but that is definitely not a great experience in my book turn your 28 inch monitor into a 14 inch monitor yeah sorry anyway this is over six minutes long and that's kind of me droning on for a while but i just wanted some proof that i'm not just making stuff up about Borderlands 3 and DirectX 12 and AMD problems. Like, this is real stuff. I've done Display Driver Uninstaller twice for sure to wipe out all AMD drivers and try and reinstall. Um, I've run with the 19.9.1 drivers and those do not have this problem. So it is definitely there optimized for Borderlands 3 driver that doesn't actually work the way you would expect. So. There you go, just a uh, final wrap up here. 200.63 frames per second at 1080p, very low quality with the RX 5700 XT. And I'm gonna repeat that test again, but yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully this problem gets fixed and in a few months we won't have to worry about this. Actually a few days would be ideal, but I'm not, I'm not counting on that. So um, anyway. At some point, AMD will update its drivers and Gearbox will hopefully fix it, fix its DirectX 12 implementation and we can put this behind us. But I will not be re-benchmarking every graphics card and every setting under DirectX 12 and rewriting my entire article three months down the road. That's just not going to happen. That's too much time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and you'll see me post the random video like this maybe three times a year. <laughs> Take care.